Okay, guys, let's get started. Uh, you know, we want to open a new uh, RS Logix and they create in the uh, new module for Ethernet, for uh, the controller for sure, and for device net. Uh, first of all, we go to uh, new. Okay, here we can select our controller. How I'm going to know which one I need. It's either based on the bill of materials or you can uh, actually and physically, okay, um, check the hardware, the module of the PLC. In the back, you can see the type of the PLC and also you can see which uh, revision. Uh, another way is to uh, call the vendor and uh, make sure uh, everything, you know, is up to code. Now for the name here, I'm going to call my controller. I'm going to call it uh, controller 101 description let's say this is a um, you know car wash okay um, you can put anything or you can put a master okay controller so uh, it's up to you here whatever you want i'm gonna keep it empty uh, for the chassis this is how many slots you know your chassis can handle uh, and also has this that has to do with the uh, physical chassis uh, which you can uh, see, you can count how many slots it has, or you can check the bill of materials if you are programming this, uh, you know, away from uh, the um, factory plant or, you know, in case you don't have it in front of you. So I'm going to assume it's a seven slots. You can select, uh, you know, uh, whatever fit uh, uh, your uh, requirements. So here I select seven starting from slot uh, zero okay i'm gonna keep it at zero later on we'll uh, we'll show you what's this for uh, click okay um yes because i was uh, trying to do it uh, before okay and here we have the uh, plc controller okay you can see, double click on it or you can go to properties and here we can do some changes later on. Even you can change the controller, okay, type or revision. Uh, another thing here, let's say I don't want it at zero. I want it to be at slot number three. Okay, more than welcome. Okay, once you do that uh, in, the bottom here, in the bottom here, you are gonna see, uh, okay, or just to click and uh, press enter and you are all set. This is my controller. Now let's say I want to add uh, this controller here has uh, two kinds of, uh, you know, um, uh, tags. Okay. So your database could be global here where I write my tags. And this is the controller level. This is the scope. Or it can be, you know, uh, a local one, uh, which is going to be here. Okay. Shown uh, based on your main program. Uh, so this will be discussing later on, okay? Uh, another thing here, let's say we want to add a new Ethernet because I want to communicate to the PLC, okay? In order to talk to the PLC, to edit the program, monitor the program, what do I need to have? I have to have, you know, a communication module. Here we are going to click on new module and I'm going to select Ethernet, okay? And as I said before, which Ethernet I need. This has to do with your uh, uh, with your uh, company uh, or the project specification. You can either check it in the bill of materials. You can check the vendor. You check your manager, lead engineer, or you can physically, you know, take it out of the chassis and uh, in the back it will show you the Ethernet type and uh, it's going to show you also the revision, okay? So I'm going to put click here, create major revision two. I'm assuming I'm reading this uh, off the back, uh, you know, of my, um, uh, you know, Ethernet module. Click OK. Uh, what you are going to call it? I'm going to call it Ethernet uh, slot. I'll put it in slot zero. That's fine. If not, you can select up to slot uh, seven. Uh, why it's showing me maximum six? Because I'm counting from zero to six, therefore it's seven slots. Okay, revision here, be, uh, guys, be careful. You have to check it in your uh, firmware, uh, which is showing in the back of your um, ethernet module. Um, another thing here you have to be, uh, you have to be aware of, uh, you know, 
the IP address. Uh, the IP address here, how I'm going to communicate, you know, with this uh, PLC. I'm going to communicate to the, this controller through this Ethernet. So let's say I put 192.191.0.1. Okay, this is now my IP address. When I want to connect my computer to this Ethernet, I have to make sure at least uh, the first two octant or three octant, okay, are similar. Those can be changed. Uh, so if this is one, you can make your laptop 10, 15, okay? You have up to 255, okay? You cannot have more than 255, okay? Maximum 255. Uh, so I'm going to keep it here as uh, one. Okay, I'm all set. Create, okay. Uh, Perfect, we're done. So now we have a chassis, okay, seven slots, okay, and we have, um, uh, and that we have the controller, we have Ethernet. Now let's say I want to create my ether, my device net, okay, that's simple as well. Um, go to new module, okay, perfect, and say, hey, I want device net, okay, this is my device net, I create. It's going to also ask me, hey, which uh, revision is that? Same story as we said in the uh, Ethernet card. Double check it. Okay. Uh, this one, I'm going to call it the net. Okay. Um, zero one. Okay. It's node zero, slot one. Um, okay. Let's say I select, you know, for revisions and all this uh, uh, revision and the type of your device net, as I said, check uh, the hardware, the module of device net. In the back, it has all the specifications. Or you can uh, get it from the bill of materials uh, if no mistakes are made. So here, let's say I have node zero, okay? Device net, as you know, has 64 nodes. So let's say I have a node for a armor block, for a motor, you know. Here I start, uh, you know, uh, from node zero. So if you can see, I have up to uh, 64. So I'm going to keep this as zero. But here is saying slot one. Okay. Uh, if I put slot three, what will happen? It's going to get, hey, there is a problem. Why? Because I'm already consuming slot three. Okay. It's already used. Okay. Zero is already used, so I'm going to select four, okay, and I'm all set. Another thing here, uh, cool about device net, um, you, when you go to scan list, you are going to see your nodes, and you can, uh, if you are online, you can check the status of every node, okay. By that, what we learned, we were able to uh, create a chassis, then uh, we add to it, you know, other devices. Let's say I have uh, more stuff. Control net, for instance. Same thing, you know. You can go and select your control net. And uh, you can see it here. Select from it and you are all set as well. So be careful, you know, the slot number. Uh, also, the, you know, revision. Those are very important. For Ethernet, make sure you have the proper IP address. Uh, another thing, you know, you have to be familiar with, once I create my Ethernet, this is going to be used uh, for tags, you know, purposes. So I can do a cross-reference, okay? Uh, it's not used in the logic yet, but I can see the tags. Here I have local four output, local four inputs, and this is uh, really something uh, very cool, okay? Uh, for my inputs, they are going to be uh, here. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is very nice. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get uh, more uh, good tutorials. Take care.